Well, hello everyone. Happy Friday here. And my name is Tomas Garza. Welcome to A Course in Miracles 365, Awakening to Love. I'm your host for this show, which is a daily, well, near daily, live stream here on Enlightened World Network. I thank you all so much for joining me. And I thank you all for participating in this group, which we've been running since January. It's, it's been six months, more or less, since we began this live stream, and it's been my pleasure to bring A Course in Miracles to you. This is a foundational centerpiece of my own spiritual practice, along with the meditation practice that I've had for oh, about 36 years now. So the course found me in 2013, and it has been the centerpiece of all of my spiritual activity since then. So what I'm providing here is my own take, my own experience on a course. Now, let me be very clear that I'm presenting the material as it is. I'm not interpreting that and adding my own thing. So by my own take, I mean how it has changed and influenced my life. And my goal here is to teach it as it is. There are many of us in the world that are teaching A Course in Miracles. The Course refers to such people as teachers of God. You can call them anything you want. You can call me anything you want. Um, <laughs> literally, right? And uh, I won't mind. But, um, you know, there are many of us in the world, because there are many other people in the world that we are to reach. It's with this platform for me, and it's with other platforms and spiritual traditions, completely different spiritual traditions for other people. That's why there are so many different approaches. Each and every one of them leads to God in the end. And if you prefer a different word for God, such as your, yourself, source, feel welcome to use that. What we're doing here is we're awakening to the truth of who we really are. In other words, we're awakening to truth with a capital T. We're awakening to love, as the subtitle of this live stream indicates. And that's what it is. So I'm not changing in these lives. I'm not changing the words, nor the meaning of any of the material here in A Course in Miracles, I'm giving my experience and the way that it has transformed my life and the way it has caused me to change for the better. So each of us has our own experiences with this and perhaps you're very new to this material and if you are, welcome. And if you've been doing this for 30 or more years, as I know some of you have here at EWN, welcome again. It's always wonderful to have you. So if you have questions or comments, please feel welcome to leave them here in the comment thread on the live. And I will get to them, whether it's during the broadcast live here or whether it's on the replay. So I do check them. So feel welcome, please, to pop in and say hi. Now, we've been covering in the workbook for students a number of very powerful ideas related to forgiveness, related to our oneness with God. Let me repeat that, our oneness, sameness with God. Again, this is part of what we're awakening to. So following right along with that, we're at lesson 125 here. In quiet, I receive God's word today. In quiet, I receive God's word today bit of context I mentioned a minute ago, I have had a meditation practice for 36 years. And, and maybe you have too, maybe you have not. And maybe you don't have one, which is perfectly okay. 
we receive God's word in stillness, in quiet, in peace and quiet, in silence. So what do we mean by that? What we mean here is that our minds are crazy. If you're a student of Buddhism, you'll know the term monkey mind, which is apt, that very accurately describes our ordinary mind that races off after the next shiny object and responds to what it perceives as threats, real or imagined, most of them completely imagined, right? Most of the time we're worried about something that happened years ago, or we're concerned with what might happen tomorrow. We're anywhere but the present moment and our minds race around and make all kinds of noise. It's chatter like a monkey, it's monkey mind. And that is where we find ourselves here in the world most of the time. So how do we break free from that? Well, meditation practice, yoga, right? Maybe for you, it's a self-care practice such as drawing yourself a bath. Maybe it's a walk in the woods or in the mountains, on the beach, wherever you live. Maybe it's exercise, yeah, physical exercise. It's important that each of us takes time out of our busy day because, you know, we're all busy, <laughs> right? It's 2021, we all have a busy schedule. And even if we don't have a busy schedule, we can make ourselves numb looking at this little device and devise millions of things to do to occupy our time. That's what we all do. So this is about a decision it's about a choice that we make here in the present moment to set aside some quiet time so we can hear ourselves. You heard that, right? We can hear ourselves, capital S. Yeah, we don't hear the voice for God. We don't hear the word of God when we're racing around indulging monkey mind. It's when that mind is relatively quiet, relatively still, that this truth can dawn on us. This is how, this is how we do it. So nobody's demanding that you go forward and start a formal meditation practice. Though, if you want to do that, it's a really beautiful thing to do. However you make the time for yourself to sit still in as much quiet as you possibly can. I mean, thoughts come and go. The mind is always active. So it's not the point to banish all thoughts that requires a tremendous amount of effort. It really is a task that's beyond any of us to banish all thought. That's not it. It's letting our minds rest and relax and be still. In this stillness, we hear the voice for God. So This lesson has some commentary that I want to highlight. We are, each and every one of us, free to save ourselves. This is an amazing and a beautiful thing. We often go through life thinking we're disempowered, that we're dangling like puppets on the string of higher powers that we absolutely can't perceive that are separate from us. No, there is no separation of any kind. We are never responsible for saving ourselves. We are free to do this. So no one else is in charge of this. What has happened to all of us is we have wandered off into the woods, into the desert, right? Into the wilderness. And the truth of who we really are, love, God, 
has never changed. It has never gone away just because we've gone off and gotten lost. We are quite literally like little children that go out to play, get excited chasing after a shiny object and get lost and begin to cry because they need their mother. I mean, is that in any way inaccurate? No, it's not. This is the situation that we find ourselves in, in the world. We're free to save ourselves. We're free to hear the word of God. It's tremendously empowering. What I invite each of us to do is to claim that power. It is yours. Truth has, with a capital T, yeah, truth has never gone anywhere. It's never going to go anywhere. We're simply to awaken to this. And it's without the intrusion of monkey mind, it's without the intrusion of all of our petty thoughts, thoughts of jealousy, right? Thoughts about tomorrow's lunch, worry about what might come, guilt, yeah? Guilt thoughts about what you should have, would have, could have done. Those are deadly words, right? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah, there's a lot going on in our minds. And when we let all of that just be and don't follow after it, in other words, when we allow ourselves to sit in this stillness and peace and quiet, that is when we hear the voice for God. So what does this practice look like? Well, the workbook every day suggests a number of practice periods. Sometimes it's just one. Sometimes it's more than one for different durations of time. And I invite you, as I have many times here on the show, not to get too wound up about how much time you actually do practice. The important thing is making an effort to practice. And the important thing is integrating these ideas that we talk about here into your life. That is what's important. A Course in Miracles is completely 100% about how you apply these principles, these truths in your life. It's not, as it says in several places, not concerned with dogma. You're not being required to believe anything. This is just one of many paths that exist here in the world. One of many paths that lead you to the truth of who you really are, which has never gone anywhere and is never going to go anywhere. It's never going to run away and hide from you. In fact, we're the ones that have run away and hidden from it. So to say that in the world, we have everything backwards is perfectly accurate. So what we have is we have spiritual practice and spiritual traditions like a Course in Miracles, and there are many, countless others that lead us to the same place. So these teachings can absolutely help shine some light on your current path, whatever it is. No one's being asked to abandon their own path. If A Course in Miracles is or becomes the foundational basis of your spiritual practice, as it has for me, so be it. That is not required. In no way, shape, or form is that required. There are countless people in the world that use these principles to help gain a deeper understanding of their own faith. It's very helpful for this, very helpful indeed. 
So I invite questions and comments. And even if you just want to say hi, I'm going to pop on here on the live stream. This is on Enlightened World Network. And by the way, you can catch back episodes of this live stream on the network's YouTube channel. So Enlightened World Network on YouTube has a playlist that's dedicated to each and every show here on the network, including this one. And again, if you're searching that, you can find every episode that has been broadcast in the last six months because we again we started this in January so let me pop up here and see who's joining me live now if you're joining me on the replay feel welcome to say hello as well and uh, I will give you a shout out later retroactively in the comments all right so who's joining me? Josie hello how are you yeah welcome <laughs> Your first time. Okay. Thank you for, for joining and for commenting here. Welcome. This show is running here every day, but Sunday. So I invite each of you, if this is something that you want to come back and see more of, we're talking universal spirituality here with A Course in Miracles, because again, it, it applies to any spiritual or religious tradition, no matter what that may be for you. So it is, so uh, it bounces around actually in terms of the time that it's offered. So I invite each of you to check the daily show guide on Enlightened World Network's Facebook page here. This is the page where this broadcast is streaming live and that will tell you all of the day's programming for, for the network. So I will be back here again tomorrow and we're continuing to go through the workbook for students. So welcome, um, this being your first time, thank you for joining us. All right, so if anyone has any further questions or comments, please leave them here in the comment thread and I will get to them as we go forward today. And again, I just can't impress on you enough the importance of setting aside some time if you do nothing else set aside some time for yourself really lesson 125 yes it's about hearing the word of god and communicating directly with god yes it is about that but here in the world it's really about self-care it's about honoring ourselves enough to take some time and space for ourselves so that we may relax. Because as the Course says, a quiet mind is not a small gift, right? And it's not. So some peace and tranquility will pay tremendous dividends in, in your life. So I encourage you, I, I invite you, find some time for some peace and quiet. It is possible no matter how busy you are, it is possible because a successful meditation can be as short as one breath. It doesn't have to be an hour long, which should be a comforting thought. And that should be a comforting thought indeed. Each of us has time to do this. It awaits only our decision to do it. So I encourage you to make that decision today and I will see you back here tomorrow.